Poshmark, I love you for that, honey. Mm -hmm. And no matter what, keep doing what you do. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tati Armani, and I'm back with another video. As y'all can see by the title in today's video, I will be talking about things that I hate and the things that I love about Poshmark. I don't necessarily really hate these things, but as I said before, I want to be dramatic and use hate and love instead of likes and dislikes or pros and cons, okay? So, yes, if you haven't already checked out my pros and cons, hates, hates and loves, likes and dislikes, whatever word you want to use, <laughs> video about Macari, make sure you definitely go and check that video out. But in this video, we are be talking about only Poshmark. Let's once again get into the bad news before the good news let's talk about the things that i hate or dislike about poshmark i've had my poshmark account since i think like 2015 but i haven't actively started selling on it until 2021 in september so no probably like july i went full-time in september but probably like july or june when i started um really going hard on there overall i do like poshmark um poshmark has been a really great growing um platform for me within the past year of me going full-time so the first thing that i don't like about poshmark is the fact that you have to share 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 your closet thankfully i do have a bot <laughs> because i cannot be sitting there sharing all day but sharing is a major part of Poshmark. Um, it's something that they definitely push, like share your closet every day, three times a day, five times a day, share your closet. More exposure, more sales. Girl, I already got enough stuff to do as far as listing and photographing and putting all the correct things in the description and measuring and sourcing and packaging and shipping i don't have time to be worried about sharing no closet so that is the reason why i do have a bot for that and yeah but i don't like the fact that that's even a thing i wish that you could just upload and y'all share my closet y'all share it for me i already did my part i'm the one who put my stuff on y'all's platform y'all share it i'm making y'all money that's the least you could do is share it I'm just playing, but <laughs> it's not that serious. But yeah, um, the sharing thing. Um, the next thing it would be what I don't like is um, the fact that. Okay, don't get me wrong. I love the shipping discount, but I hate that it's only up to five pounds. So if anything is over five pounds, then like a new label has to be created or like like you ha it has to be fixed or whatever like it has to like everything with their shipping is is that up to five pounds thing uh, i'm not saying that i wish that they did their low rate for more than five pounds because y'all already doing us a favor but it's like um i think it needs to be like more or maybe they need to have something where we actually put in the actual weight in case it is over five pounds most things that i sell aren't but I have been in a situation where it was, and then I'm like, now I gotta create a new label and do all this because the y'all system only is based on this five pounds thing. So yeah, that just has been one of those things that just has personally annoyed me. That's not really like a bad thing, but okay, the next thing that I don't like or hate about Poshmark is, um, Okay, somebody told me there was a way around this, but the way they told me does not work. Okay, so basically, you know, like, okay, since I sell on multiple platforms, once the item is sold, and then, um, once the item is sold on one platform, then I have to go and delist it, slash delete it, whatever, take it down from other platforms as well. So when I go to go on Poshmark to mark something as not for sale anymore, basically to take it down, if I have active offers out on it at the time, then I can't delist it. But my whole thing is, if I'm obviously trying to delist it, then obviously it's no longer available. So those offers don't even matter. So why am I not able to mark it as not for sale anymore? 
just because there's offers out on it. Those offers don't matter because the item has already sold somewhere else. Obviously, they don't know that about it, but I still feel like what if somebody's like, oh, I don't want to sell this anymore. Or maybe they sell it in person or something. Or maybe they take it back to the store. They should be able to just take it down. So... I don't like that. And somebody told me if you just go on there and like change something on the listing, like in the description or something, or change one of the things like the weight or I mean not the weight, the size or something, as long as you change it and then delist it, it'll work. But that does not work for me. So if you sell on Poshmark and you know the way around that um yeah you let me know because that didn't work for me it still does not let me mark it as not not for sale if you sell on poshmark you know if you don't that probably would be like a little bit complicated to even understand the next thing that i don't like about um poshmark is the fact and this was something that happened this year um the changes that they made in their system or in their algorithm or whatever the word is that um affected a lot of sellers drastically to the point where people were like going so hard and like making groups and emailing them and they had to have zoom meetings or whatever the meeting was on to discuss like why people went from making 10 to 20 sales a day to having absolutely none and why does it seem like every time that you all change something it is affecting sellers um, yeah, I just don't think that's fair and for me that's something I don't think that it really affected me too much My sales did go down, but I wouldn't say that they dropped so much to the point where I was like Like my income didn't go from 2000 to only $200 a month that didn't happen to me at least but I just don't like that They affected the seller so much to me it kind of just built like this thing in my head at least for Poshmark where it's like it's no trust like I don't know what you all will do next um yeah and are you all on seller size or do you only care about your buyers you know what I mean like so that was that just was a big 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 red flag for me when it comes to Poshmark and my next like I mean I like my next dislike slash hate about um poshmark is the fact that i feel like there's not a lot of there's not a lot of people on poshmark and i think technically poshmark has more people on the app than macari but it feels like poshmark has less people than macari to me i don't know probably not but yeah um yeah i just can't wait until i guess i feel like i guess it'll happen over with time but i can't wait until more people are on poshmark i do feel like it's a cool app like it's definitely an app that you know i would suggest to people if they're like oh i want to look for something online i definitely be like oh check make sure you check poshmark you know they definitely have people have deals on there like if we're talking about clothing or shoes or something like that i would definitely suggest it so i can't wait until more people just really get on the app you know and the last thing that i dislike slash hate about poshmark and honestly this might be the number one thing that i don't like <laughs> to be honest is the simple fact that there's no instant pay at all so it's either direct deposits which we all know takes three to five business days or a check in the mail definitely not doing that but yeah, like, even if they put a limit on it, like Macari, where it's like, okay, you, we have instant pay, but you can only instant pay yourself like $500 a month, I would take that over no instant pay. Like, I really don't like that they don't have any options for instant pay. Um, yeah, but hopefully in the future, that's a change that they focus on instead of focusing on the wrong thing. Hey you guys, now let's talk about the things that I love slash like about Poshmark. Okay, so the first thing would be that the shipping is pretty much straightforward. It's the $7 and however many cents or whatever for anything that's under um, 5 pounds and under. So, for the most part, that's pretty much everything that I sell on there. Um, it's not too many things that do go over 5 pounds like I said previously. So... 
yeah, like, shipping is simple. Like, you really don't have to do too much. I mean, you have to, you know, it's something that you have to look into if you do sell majority of things that, o that are over five pounds. But, I mean, most people sell shoes and clothes on there. So, yeah, shipping is straightforward. So, not only that, um, shipping is always priority on there. So, it is the seven dollars and whatever cents for anything five pounds and under and then it is always priority shipping so like yeah and i think it's, it's like it said the label says two day priority shipping these customers be getting their stuff so fast from poshmark like i literally be sending stuff out it be feeling like i send stuff out and i'm getting rated for it the very next day like, it don't be that fast it has been that fast though if they're like in texas of course but like yeah the customers for poshmark they get their stuff really really fast and i like that and i appreciate that a lot a lot a lot a lot like to the point where it makes me not want to ship anything regular mail anymore ever like it needs to be priority because i love that the customers can get their things right away well so fast okay the next thing that i love such like really like really like really like really love about <laughs> poshmark is the bundle option so they have a whole thing on poshmark where the customers can literally create a bundle and put higher whatever they want in that bundle and then they have just an overall price of everything that's in that bundle. You can send them an offer on the bundle if you want to give them like some type of discount on it or whatever. But I just love the fact that they have the feature to for bundles to be created anyway. Like you don't have to manually create a bundle like on Macari. Um, if somebody wants to bundle two things, I like create a whole new listing for them um, manually. Like, okay, this bundle is for Kayla with the Nike shirt, the Nike pants, and the Nike shoes. Like, you know, you don't have to do that. They can literally just put all their stuff in their little basket bag, bundle bag, whatever thing. And yeah, like, I love that. All y'all need to get that. <laughs> every other platform needs to have that that's awesome next thing that i really really like really love is the seller insights feature i think this is a newer feature uh, i'm not sure exactly when it came out but you know like you can see your insights as far as the brands you sell your monthly reports as far as the money you're making and stuff like that um just any like order or inventory insights or whatever everything that has to do with your closet like the insights for it i love that love that love that um yeah i like to see what brands are doing the best for me of course i have in my head what i think it is based off just what i do but it's really it's nice to pull up that information and actually see it and see how much money I'm making and you know just to see like what's really really going up going on laid out like in a chart you know like of course I kind of pretty much know like yeah I sell more women's than men's but it's nice to see like the actual percentage of how much more and all that kind of stuff so I love the seller insights um I love that everyone has a custom QR code for their closet. Um, hopefully they have the option where you can put that onto like a business card or something. Like I know that you can create a, a QR code easily in Canva if you didn't know, now you know. But um, yeah, I just love that they have that. Like they're, you know, getting like more up to date. Cause I did feel like at some point Poshmark was a little outdated. So I feel like now, 2022 2021 like they're trying to catch up like they're trying to get into what they need to get into so <laughs> i love the custom qr codes that was a really good idea oh and this is my favorite 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 thing about poshmark as a seller oh my gosh i love that the returns have to be legit like you cannot just return something because you don't like it. It has to literally be an actual error on my behalf as the seller. So that brings the returns on Poshmark down to a minimum. And you know, like I literally have to have made the mistake somewhere. And there's plenty of situations depending on what it is where Poshmark will give me my money and also refund the buyer as well. So. I love that. I love that returns have to be legit. Like, I feel like 
that's how it should be because if I have if I have put in the time and the effort to put in so much now it's different if somebody well that's what they go based off of I put in the time and the effort in my descriptions in my titles in my photos like I take the photos of the things of everything I know that y'all will see and everything that a customer could potentially ask me about the bottom of the shoe the sole of the shoe the like I'm putting everything's already there for you laid out so you saw everything you should have read everything so I did nothing wrong and you still chose to, to purchase so whenever you get it and you're like eh, I don't know or you know sometimes people just want to return something because they just want their money back really or whatever you know so no it has to be legit to be a return Poshmark I love you for that honey all right, you guys, so those are things that I love and hate, like and dislike, pros and cons, all of that good shebang about Poshmark. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop down below a comment or things that you dislike or love about Poshmark as well. And don't forget to leave a like on this video. I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye, you guys. I